becomes a dramatic defensive turnaround, to say the least, what do you think the key to the uh, <laughs> Did they come in already? Yeah. What did they say? Well, Luca said what Reggie said. Like, yeah. That's what Reg said. That's what Luca says. Uh, no, I think I thought they played for 48 minutes. I thought even the group that was in at the end played uh, with energy and effort. Um, I think there was clarity of what we've asked them to do in this game plan, and, and they responded. Um, it wasn't me calling them out or, you know, saying we had a walkthrough shoot around uh, during the game against Atlanta. Um, I just think they they were uh, they were you could see they were flying around. Um, so now we got to hold them to that standard. So what's preventing them from doing this every game? <laughs> uh, sometimes they could be tired <laughs> or, or upset. Um, I don't know. I, I think it's just it's the journey that all teams go through um, of trying to find identity, um, trying to find continuity, um, you know, trust, you know, and I, and I think uh, sometimes you, 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 ha you don't have to lose, but you do lose and you, you find out the character of that group in that locker room. And I thought they responded. What do you think of the impact that Dwight made tonight? Oh, he was great. He, he was great. He, he, both ends, the energy. Uh, he, you know, he's never going to be talked about as someone scoring, you know, 10 to 20 points a night. Uh, but just the energy and effort and um, just doing all the little things. Uh, you know, I thought, again, he did a pretty good job on, on Bam. You know, Bam's an all-star in this league. He's tough to guard. Um, but I thought he made it difficult. Even Bam made some shots. You know, I thought DP was incredible tonight. What did you think of the small lineups? They were all right. <laughs> they were good. They were good. <laughs> they were good. I mean, that, that group has played with each other. They understand what what they have to do. There, there's no um, indecisiveness of just they play, they talk. The deflections were probably the highest tonight. Um, just running guys off of threes, you know, this extra effort was there. It was kind of, you know, reminded us of last year at the end of the season, you know, playing like that, that effort. You mentioned that you weren't the voice that called the, the team out defensively and it didn't need to come from you. Who is the, the voice that is emerging as what's called? Yeah, I thought Doe, Doe said it, um, you know, after the game, be uh, and then you know yesterday, that our defense has to be better. I thought Maxie's voice yesterday in film was uh, was right on. Um, he his voice. Uh, some said that that's the most he's talked in in the time that he's been here, but that that was, it was uh, right on. Watching film, he he said a lot of stuff uh, that hit home with everybody, and I thought the carryover from from that film and on the floor yesterday, and then you know coming out to do it against a very talented and team in Miami that's playing extremely well. Um, you, you saw it tonight. Where did Duke have the um, well, we did a little of that last year, and um, we just haven't gotten to it. You know, just having one ball handler is good to have Josh back. Now you have three, and uh, then Josh's playmaking skills. Um, I wouldn't say they're, they're rusty, but he, you know, just getting him back into the swing of things of handling the pick and roll. Uh, we trust him. Um, and then also Spencer in the pick and roll using um, – Luca in the screen just gives us another look. Also, I think it's maybe a little bit harder to double team because now you got different guys on them. Maybe it's a barrier of players, but like, do you get the sense that it's just easier out there offensively when there's a, you know, a, not just one or two, but even a third guy? You can be trusted to initiate offense and dribble. Yeah, that's, yes, that's probably safe to say. Um, for coach or player, when you have multiple ball handlers and when you look at around the league, when you have decision makers who can, you know, you can use Luca in the screen, um, you can you do different things where you can move him around where he doesn't have to dribble. You got two other guys that can do that. Um, it definitely gives you the advantage. What's gotten in the regular 19 out of 29 in these last four games from three points? Uh, you have to ask him. Um, you know, I think he's. This is who he is. You know, he can shoot. He can play. We all trust him. I said that before the game. Um, he, you know, 
you're not going to make every shot. There's not a player who's made every shot for 82 games. It's going to be ups and downs. And his, you know, he's being consistent, you know, on the defensive end. Um, but the beauty of it is teammates trust him, and he's getting the same looks that he got uh, early in the season, and now he's he's making them. And he tends to, you know, make them from here on out. But um, he's going to miss some. But it's, you know, making the right basketball play uh, was high tonight, and, and hopefully we can have that carry over to uh, Sunday afternoon. Thanks. Jason you talked a little bit about uh, yesterday's film session. How would you describe kind of the, uh, the, the tone and the atmosphere of that session? Um, I mean, obviously it's not going to be a, a good tone, as it, as it shouldn't be, uh, but I think it was – you know, something we needed to see as a team. You know, the amount of errors we were making is just like not good. You know, I was looking at it like it's just dumb mistakes. So, for we 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 needed that. We were able to talk it out as a team, and we were able to you know make sure that we uh, really uh, stick onto defense and make sure that's a big part of our game because when our defense is rolling, everything is rolling. Well, what's an example of a dumb mistake? X out rotations, not close, like closing out to a shooter. You know. Um, it could be everything, you know, picking up just in full, in, in transition, picking up the, you know, we, our biggest thing is a man, not the man. And, you know, that's, uh, you know, for me, I, I, I messed up first game back, you know, doing that. And it's just, it's, you know, it's just small stuff. It doesn't seem too big in the, in the big run of things. But when you see it on film, you're just like, what are you thinking? So, yeah. How would you evaluate as a screener? As a screener? <laughs> uh. I think that's a question for him. He says he says he has a wide body, so he's capable. He's a center. That's why. No, I'm just, <laughs> no. He. Uh, I mean, Luca, man, he can do anything, you know. So if you put him in a ball screen, he doesn't he doesn't mind it, and he's you know he's never going to be a player who complains about you know being put in a certain situation, or anything like that, and he's all for it. So um, honestly, if anything, I think it really you know shows a team that he's willing to do whatever to win the game, and it gets us going when he's willing to do stuff like that, and you know on the defensive end too, he's been a hell of a defender lately, you know, so that's cool to see too. What's it like being one of the other four guys on the court when Luca's getting doubled and picked up full court like the entire game? Um, I mean, I feel like I've kind of got used to it now. I feel like mostly every single team has started to <laughs> double him, so. It's like it's it's weird because like you know sometimes you don't know when to flash when not to flash you know it's just you need to be locked in you know sometimes you know if somebody's not being double you know you don't really lock in as much but like when you're getting double like you really have to lock in and be able to see what's going on around the court and you know see he's flashing and see if you need to be in the corner and yeah just think. Does it feel like every play is like a broken play at that point or do you guys start to run stuff? Uh, I wouldn't say it's a broken play at all. I mean, I think it's just a defensive adjustment that they chose to do against Luka. Um, you know, we still have certain ways in, in how to, to get into our plays. And so, realistic, I mean, I w wouldn't say it, like, deters us from really doing anything, but we're still able to get into our play, whether it's, you know, m yeah, I think there's many ways we get into our play. Josh, we've seen you bring up the ball and initiate the plays more recently. Has that been a focus for you? And what's your assessment on being in that position? Um, I, I feel like, you know, since day one, that coach uh, came into, you know, the Mavs is, is actually being a big focus of just, you know, working out and working on my ball handling. Um, I think he saw that I could pass the ball decently. And, um, you know, it's just like being able to have that option is, you know, like you said, like having Luke as a screen or whatever. I think it just opens the, the game a lot more for us offensively. And it gives us, you know, the other teams, it's, it's harder to defend too. So I think it just gives another option for our team. I mean, I didn't, I didn't visualize anything my rookie year, man. It's like, <laughs> like, yeah, like, man, I wasn't even, I wasn't even thinking if I'm gonna touch the ball, it's if I'm gonna get on the court, you know. So I never, man, thought, no, I never thought myself being a point guard, but I worked to be able to be a point guard. So, but no, not my rookie year. I mean, but going into you know Arizona at Arizona in high school. I had the ball in my hands a lot, and I was comfortable bringing the ball up, but pff, definitely not my rookie year, no. No. I saw you uh, catching up with Kyle Lowry after the game, and you mentioned you know, back in training camp how much 
be helped you out this summer. Uh, I'm, I'm curious, like, have you, you guys stay in touch during the season? Is it, or, you know, is he... Yeah, I mean, he's talking to you all the other season. Yeah, it was good. You know, I was able to catch up with him. Um, you know, he's had a very successful time in the NBA, and it, you know, it's uh, it's always good to be able to work out somebody like that. You know, play against him every day, and you know, just learn stuff. You know, if I'm messing up in the middle of a drill, he'll stop the drill, and you know, I'll do a little. Um, you know, talk to me. You know, just about different situations, what what he sees when he's in that situation. So, I think just being able to have somebody that. Um, you know, gives a competitive edge to every workout, you know, because my mindset is like, well, if he makes a shot, I need to make the shot in the workout. And then, you know, you kind of get, I just have such a competitive thing. You know, every single game one on one, I want to I beat him, you know, and that's my goal. So I think, and, and he's a very competitive player too. He has a very strict schedule on how he works in off season. So, you know, I was all for it when he was able to, you know, give me the opportunity to work out with him. And throughout the course of the season, has he like texted you? Has he, you know, been, been watching you? And- you know, kind of giving you any kind of feedback, advice, criticism? Yeah, he, I mean, he watches our games, and he's talked to my trainer and whatnot. But obviously, at the end of the day, we're competing against each other. So when we see each other, we'll talk and whatnot. And, you know, a couple texts here and there, but, yeah. Uh, you made a lot of plays attacking closeouts today. Uh, what advantages did you have in those situations? Um, Honest, like at the start of the game, I think the biggest thing was like we were able to get the, to the our corner shots and uh, you know our three, you know, getting you know great looks. Um, but it was a second drive that you know they kind of started scrambling and they didn't know how to particularly scramble out of it. So my goal was to try to just you know just see what their second rotation was and I trust all my guys and shooting the ball and yeah, just kind of giving them that you know just another another drive. Lob looking through you. Yeah. Love. Good finish, good man, I thought my elbow was about to go out again, man. It's, uh, I, was, I was about to, I was about to get rim blocked, you know, bl- badly. Um, I actually thought I was getting rim blocked, but hey, you know, maybe it's not Luca's best pass, but uh, we were able to get two points from it. So, you know, you should have told. I was gonna do it between the legs, man. It's. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it was gonna do be a between the legs. So that's that's a story for another time, though. Now, you made a pretty contested corner three um, during the game. Are you more comfortable taking those types of uh, three point attempts now? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I feel com- comfortable and confident that I, that I can shoot the corner three. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Yeah.